Welcome everybody to another YouTube video. Um, today's video, I just wanted to show you guys a few more customizations um, that I've done to a, a few of my boots, shoes, uh, of course soccer shoes. Um, and just want to show you guys, um, I guess, how I like to express myself in, in, in my boots and I like to make them my own. Uh, as you know, pros, they get their own vari variations of boots. Um, they don't get what we buy. Uh, Nike, Adidas, all them, all the big companies, they go out and measure the player's foots. They have special insoles. You know, nothing is just like what we get. So I like to um, do a few things to my boots. Not all of them, but a few. Um, and this is what I've done. So my first pair I'm gonna show you, which is a little bit contradictory to what I've done to some others, but I have the Premier 2, and as you know, it was orange uh, back here, but I blacked that out. And for some reason, uh, I took off the tongue, cut off the tongue. I don't know why, I really like the tongue, but it, it, it it's a different shoe, really, even without when you take off the tongue. For some reason, I don't know, maybe it's more mental, but it is like a totally different shoe which is really weird when it's not <laughs> just having the um, the tongue on there doesn't make it that different um, but yeah so this is probably one of the shoes that I've worn the most for practice and you can see little seams are coming off right here um, but yeah so this, this is just, just to show you that it was the orange you can see the inside is orange that only came with the black and orange colorway but I blacked this one out and this is the boot that I wear the most practice in I just like it it's light it's comfortable it's leather can't go wrong with it all right so another shoe that I completely failed at and I knew this when I did it but I wanted to do it anyway just because um, so let me show you so this is hypervenom phantom um, it failed because it is fly knit um, and this is leather paint but I think it looks kind of cool. I played in it a game. I played a game in it. And that was probably my mistake that I painted them. And then within a few hours, I took them out on the field. But I mean, to me, this is, it's kind of a, a different look. I feel like this is, to me, this reminds me of like a snake skin. So it's kind of like the, the snake is shedding its skin. And then there's a whole other color exposed underneath so I'm gonna keep playing with them until they all chip away if it chips away I haven't used them in a long time so like I don't know if the paint has settled in but if it stays like that look what do you guys think should I keep it that way should I just go back over and, and paint them I really like this colorway in the blackout I like this color but I do I did have the the mid cut uh, variation in a soft ground so I didn't really care about painting these um, but yeah this was this one was actually a lot harder to do than any other um, leather because like I said it's not leather so you have to go over it go over it go over it but yeah so this is kind of just reminding me of like a snake shedding the skin and the new shoe is going to expose itself I want to see how long it takes because I really like these shoes and they're really comfortable although the paint did make them a little bit stiffer um, they're they're still really comfortable in, in, in nice shoes especially right here where it got stiff was right here it doesn't stretch as much because you, I painted that but if it comes up if the paint comes off with time so be it if not uh, it was still a heck of a try and like I said I really like the look of this if I won't say so myself all right so moving on to the next boot that I have and this was actually inspired by if you guys are familiar with uh, Totti the Italian player um, who retired a few years ago um, his temples that he wears, they were custom. They came with a, a tongue, as you can see right here. Now, like I said, I took off the Premier tongue and, and I was like, man, what could I do with that? Instead of just throwing it away, I added it to the temple, Legend 7 in the blackout colorway, uh, which I blacked out as well. This is the, the black and the gold colorway. So I guess that counts as another customization. Um, I painted the black and you can tell that I this is not the original because you can't really see the Nike logo well maybe in the light you can 
but when you're looking at it from here you can't really tell that there's any logo on here um, so yeah so I added the premier tongue to this and all I did was use some velcro I didn't want to do nothing permanent so it's a little loose right now but once I tie it and put it in place and then secure it when I pull this down it stays and it, it looks pretty good to me I don't know why they stopped making the tongue on, on, the, on the temple but you know Toti got his pair so I wanted to make my own pair as well and I haven't had a chance to play with them like this yet so I'm waiting because right now with the hurricane and everything the season is a little bit delayed um, so I'm waiting for it to start up and um, yeah get to use all my boots again because I miss playing all right so let's go on to my final customization and probably my most favorite one that I will ever do and yeah, let me just show you guys that okay so I know people are probably sick of the couple mundial customizations um, trust me I am too <laughs> although I like doing it um, but this is my most favorite customization probably that I'm ever going to do I don't know if I'll be able to top it um, and just because it holds sentimental value to me now let me explain so uh, in 2006, the World Cup, uh, Zinedine Zidane had some gold predators, um, and I really liked them. And back then, I didn't realize or know that um, the companies would just release shoes for players to wear. They weren't releasing them to the public. I think now that, you know, oh, well, Harry Kane with the Phantom kind of comes to mind where they only release for the player or something like that when they get like 100 caps or something like that well for that world cup adidas decided to um, make zidane the special pair of shoes the gold predators and i like i love my favorite gold is like one of my favorite colors if not my favorite color um, which is why i that same year i purchased the gold ronaldinho temples because i just wanted the the, the gold boot anyway so you know i I went as so far as to email Adidas. I don't remember how I got the email for Adidas or, or what, but I emailed them and I asked them if they were going to release a shoe. Well, the representative told me, yes, they should be released. And a couple emails, emails back and forth and, and I asked them again and then they hit me with, uh, oh, I'm sorry, we didn't know, but that was a special edition shoe just made for Zidane. And, I was a little heartbroken to say the least because I really wanted those shoes. Like I said, gold was my favorite color and then just the way he played and he should have walked away winning that World Cup and retiring, but we all know what happened. Now what happens? He's saying some more. But... It didn't happen that way. Um, so, um, I saw the Copa Mundial and then bought another pair and did a customization of myself and this is what I came up with oops oh, well we don't plan stuff so this is what I came up with and it's my own pair of gold Copa Mundial boots and I put white laces on them a little bit different not the exact thing that Zidane had because his was all completely gold but I, I was thinking about doing the stripes um, gold, but then I'm like, then I had to do the tongue gold as well. And I just didn't want to do that. But this is my favorite customization ever. Like, I don't know what other boot I could do because this is a still a high quality boot. I know I had the premieres, but that's not really considered a high end boot. And this is a classic high end boot that, you know, hopefully is going to last me. Um, I can't wait to wear these. I kind of don't want to wear them, but I'm going to because I figure ah, I can just buy another pair of Copa Mundial and do it again. Maybe I'll buy another pair and then um, gold, put even gold stripes out. And I was going to buy gold shoelaces. As you can see, I even did the bottom gold on both, both shoes. So it's completely gold out, I guess you could say. Um, and it's my favorite pair and I can't wait to wear them. Like I said, season's not up, but as soon as it's up, I'm gonna wear these in. And I know they released gold um, pairs after, such as the um, Added Zeros, 
but I, I just wasn't a fan of Adidas at the time, and I just wanted those Predators, and I never got them. So, Adidas, if you're watching this, which I know you're not, thank you for inspiring me to grab some paint and um, customize my own shoes. Um, thanks to you guys, this is why I did this, and it's my favorite shoe. Now, I encourage you guys, if you're gonna paint, you know, paint leather boots, leather shoes, use leather paint. This paint, didn't cost me much and I'm probably gonna put more coats on it just because this is basically just one coat and as you can see it's pretty good and it holds up I don't know if it's gonna make the leather maybe not break in or not be as soft but it doesn't feel that way and well it still crinkles up wrinkles up pretty good so I don't think the paint is gonna affect it at all um, so yeah I encourage you guys to make your own custom boots custom shoes if you do let me know send me an email you know i would love to watch videos on that because i've seen other customizations you know it's big in the sneaker industry customizing your shoes so uh, i'm glad i can do it with my soccer shoes my soccer boots um so yeah this is my favorite customization and yeah i don't know if you guys want to update video on these after i play in them to see how they hold up see if it's worth it and the paint cost me like five dollars if that i used had a coupon so it's probably cheaper than that um but yeah so if you guys want to update video on it let me know after i use them uh, but that's my video thank you guys for watching thank you guys for supporting me as always we'll see you guys in the next one peace